Welcome back to the video lecture series for Introduction to Your Programming Using Scala. In this video, we are going to implement the uh, in queue in our binary heap. So in the last video, we started working on our heap-based priority queue. Uh, we made it so it extends my priority queue. We pass in a uh, less than function so that we can use for comparisons. And we have uh, I'm actually tempted to make this not a less than, maybe make it a full comparator. We'll think about that as we go. And we have our, our is empty and our peak. We're easy to write, uh, but we need to write an in queue and a DQ. So the in queue method, we talked about this previously, that when we in queue, we add a new value uh, down at the next available slot. In the array representation, that is simply stored in the value of back here. So we know that the new value has to go here in some, in some sense. That's the area that we have to fill in, but it might not belong there. For example, if I added a one to this, well, that's going to wind up going all the way up to the top. So we talked about having this idea of bubbling up to the top. So I'm going to go ahead and create a bar called bubble and set the bubble equal to back so that I don't forget it. I'm going to increment back at the end of this. Um, now what do I need to do? Well, I have the object that I'm going to add in and I want to keep moving the bubble up as long as, well first, as long as bubble is greater than one because if bubble has reached the top then we don't want to, to keep going anywhere. If it's greater than one, then we need to check the thing above it. So we need to see if uh, LT, how about I call this I'm going to change this from LT to higher priority. Make it very make it very clear what we're doing here. If O is a higher priority than heap sub bubble over two. Remember the when you divide by two with integer division, you get the index of the parent. So I want to know if the thing that we're adding is a higher priority than the thing above it. If it is, well that means that the bubble needs to, to move up. Uh, that will happen with bubble divide equals two. In addition to that, we also need to copy the value that's at the parent down in the heap. So heap sub bubble equals heap sub bubble over two. Lastly, once we're done moving up and copying the values down, we need to store the new value in the location where the bubble stops. So, we start off with our bubble located at the end of the heap. As long as it is greater than zero, or as long as, as, long as it's greater than one, and it has a high, and the element that we're adding has a higher priority than the uh, bubble's parent, we move the bubble's parent down into the bubble and we move the bubble itself up to the parent location. Once the condition is false, we will then store our new value into the location of the bubble and increment our value for back. And that's it. That's the end of our in queue for our heap-based priority queue. We'll come back in the next video and we'll work on our DQ instead.